All right, so we're at the REI. As as you remember, I uh, popped my pad a couple days ago in this heat wave. The baffles gave out and just, and I still haven't heard from Thermarest, so I'm gonna have to carry this pad around till they tell me what to do. Uh, I don't wanna have to carry it up the trail, but I'll, I'll have no choice. So anyways, my home away from home when I'm in America is right there, REI. <laughs> it's my favorite store ever. And it's air conditioned, how cool is that? We like it, we like it. And the pads would be over here, I think. The... There's Cassidy. Oh, it's bad. Oh! Oh, my! Car might be pretty good. Like an oven's baking. What is it? 110? <gasps> you okay? Okay, so we have problems. I'm stuck in Reno overnight. The connecting bus into Susanville only runs Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it can't pick me up until like 1.30 tomorrow. So I have to hang out in Reno for the night. Me and Reno. This could be dangerous. But right now I'm gonna go and grab something to eat. I'm hungry. And I'll figure out what the accommodations are for today. Hey, I may as well make the most of it. Go out tonight, hit the casinos, see if there's a show. I may as well, right? <laughs> uh, Reno, Nevada, right now. As you may know already from yesterday, I could not get into Susanville. The bus only runs Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it was Thursday yesterday. So uh, I've been in. I've been off trail for a few days with norovirus, and. Um, Although it's been suggested that it was COVID and not Noro, I did go and get tested for COVID. I'm not, I'm COVID free. No, it was Noro or a stomach virus because I didn't get all the symptoms everybody else got. But I did isolate and Chester Hostel did shut down. So there's, there was very clearly um, an issue there, enough for them to, to shut their business down. I, um, and that's, that's sad. That is sad. I met a, a lot of people with Noro or that were sick, that got terribly sick. At least 20 or 30 people got very sick. Uh, the only common denominator was that we all stayed at Chester Hostel, but we also all ate at the same restaurants. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that, that means, but all I know is I'm trying to get back. And right now there's warnings in the Facebook groups about going back to not Chester, but Old Station, which is where I wanted to go. They're saying the air quality index there is so bad from fires that have broken out in the last 24 hours. Um, and to ignore the maps that are there, the fire maps have not been updated. <coughs> So this is a bit of a dilemma for me. Uh, I was all set to go at one o'clock this afternoon up into Susanville so I could get back into Chester and get on trail. Um, but at air quality 535, at air quality 535, it's dangerous for me with my COPD. That's assuming that the person that posted that in the Facebook group uh, is correct. Nothing like having a sneezing fit in the middle of a video. <laughs> so anyways, I have like an hour before I should check out at 11 and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Uh, do I bypass all that section and go straight up to Bernie? I went to the wildfires page um, on the web to check. I see nothing there. There's no reports at all of any fires in the area, no uh, smoke, air quality reports, for that area, it's as if there's no fire. It doesn't exist. So, I don't know. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Uh, okay. Wow, I got a lot to talk about here. I'm going to try to unpack it as quickly as I can. 
I uh, got into Chester, took a, took a double zero to wait for shoes that I had ordered, got my shoes. The minute I got my shoes, boom, all hell broke loose. It was that afternoon. I started feeling really sick to my stomach, vomiting, diarrhea, basically either food poisoning or norovirus. They shut the hostel down. I left. I'm in Sacramento. I've been in Sacramento for four days isolating and recuperating. Uh, I isolated prior to coming here, though, mind you. I made sure I was out of the woods. Uh, norovirus incubates in 48 hours. It can stick around for a couple weeks and spread, which is why I left, but it, it doesn't generally do that. It takes very direct contact for it to spread. I feel now, after having had it twice, I think I kind of got the hang of what it's doing. I was violently ill for 48 hours and then I was fine. Not a, not an issue at all. I was slightly dehydrated. I came here for R&R. &R. I love this place, the hostel here. So, so that's what I'm doing. I'm heading back to Chester today, you know, continuous footpath, all that crap. Um, anyway, uh, gonna go back there, probably just get on trail tonight. If I even get a mile or two in and just get on a campsite, that's really all I care about. I have no interest in staying in Chester. I have a feeling that we're not out of the woods yet as far as that norovirus outbreak. Uh, but I do believe I know where it started and who it started with. Because uh, generally it takes a couple days for the virus to incubate. So no pointing fingers though. It doesn't matter. It, what matters now is just moving forward. So get back on trail, get move, moving upwards. Start now looking for shuttle opportunities for trail days in a couple of weeks, three weeks after trail days. I don't know what I'm doing. I'd like to go up to Mazama and help Mary, uh, but I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to reach out and contact her and see what's going on. She may not need me. I may be able to hike another month. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you posted either way. But for now, it's, it's a full day. It's a full day of uh, travel. I won't even get into Chester till 6 or 7 tonight, so I'm not expecting big things. Even if I have to camp down by the river, you know, in town, get my stuff charged up for the morning, that I might do that. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, I'll let you know. Let's go get it. Okay, so we have problems. I'm stuck in Reno overnight. The connecting bus into Susanville only runs Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it can't pick me up until like 1.30 tomorrow. Good so morning, my friends. Well, I'm in uh, Reno, Nevada right now. As you may know already from yesterday, I could not get into Susanville. The bus only runs Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it was Thursday yesterday. So uh, I've, been in, I've been off trail for a few days with norovirus. And um, although it's been suggested that it was COVID and not Noro, I did go and get tested for COVID. I'm not, I'm COVID free. No, it was Noro or a stomach virus because I didn't get all the symptoms everybody else got. But I did isolate and Chester Hostel did shut down. So there was, there was very clearly um, an issue there enough for them to, to shut their business down. I, um, and that's, that's sad. That is sad. I met a, a lot of people with Noro or that were sick, that got terribly sick. At least 20 or 30 people got very sick. Uh, the only common denominator was that we all stayed at Chester Hostel. But we also all ate at the same restaurants. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that, that means, but all I know is I'm trying to get back. And right now there's warnings in the Facebook groups about going back to not Chester, but Old Station, which is where I wanted to go. They're saying the air quality index there is so bad from fires that have broken out in the last 24 hours. Um, and to ignore the maps that are there, the fire maps have not been updated. <coughs> this is a bit of a dilemma for me. Uh, I was all set to go at one o'clock this afternoon up into Susanville so I could get back into Chester and get on trail. 
um, but at air quality 535, at air quality 535, it's dangerous for me with my COPD. That's assuming that the person that posted that in the Facebook group uh, is correct. So anyways, I have like an hour before I should check out at 11 and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Uh, do I bypass all of that section and go straight up to Bernie? I went to the wildfires page um, on the web to check. I see nothing there. There's no reports at all of any fires in the area. No uh, smoke, air quality reports for that area. It's as if there's no fire. It doesn't exist. So, I don't know. Okay, no. It's, it won't happen. It's actually easier from Reno. But I'd have to go back into Sacramento, up north that way, along the I-5. Um, it's, it's a mess. It's a debacle. It's, it's just... California is so weird. NorCal, you can't get there from here. <laughs> there's no direct path to anywhere. All right, so apparently there's fires everywhere. So we had to, I was trying to get to Bernie to avoid those fires, but I would be walking right into a fire. I should go past Bernie if I want to totally avoid the smoke. We were coming back from Reno and we had to divert because Interstate 80 is closed due to fires. This is crazy. It's getting out of hand. Seems like I almost have to go to Oregon just to, just to hike without a fire. And for how long, I don't even know. That's the problem. So for tonight, I'm just gonna go check in back to the hostel, regroup, figure out what the heck's going on and come up with a plan. Good morning, my friends. <clears throat> well, here it is the next morning after I came back to Sacramento to avoid the uh, what's called the park fire. Uh, the park fire is around Chico, just east of Chico, California. The problem with the park fire is that now it's engulfed one of the, not the interstate, not Interstate 5, but the other, is it 90, I think? I want to say 90, Highway 90. <clears throat> so the bus that I was trying to take out of here this morning uh, was canceled. Okay, so I have a bus, um, what's called a Flix bus. It leaves tomorrow morning, but it doesn't go into Ashland. It goes up to what's called Grants Pass. That's about 80 miles past Ashland. So I'm going to have to get up there and either hitchhike or figure out a way to get to trail from there tomorrow night. Or I might just stay there and camp and then the following morning get on trail. Anyways, right now I'm going to go and grab something to eat. And then, okay, we're at the bus station. Okay, so big change of plans here. Instead of going to Grants Pass, which is like 30 miles out of uh, Ashland, I had to think for a second. I wasn't sure what I was saying here. I decided because I came up here and I saw that there was no smoke here and I'm in Shasta, Mount Shasta. So I took a campsite here for the night and I'm just going to stay here and take off in the morning because it's kind of late. I got a good deal in the campsite. It allows me to have a shower, uh, you know, just all the usual stuff. Let's me reset, let's me, well, there's a grocery store down here. Okay. So, it's about 5 o'clock, I'm all settled in, I'm at the um, Shasta KOA campground. I thought, you know, fresh water and no bugs and a toilet to sit on, 
for tonight would be just as good as hiking, what, three or four miles?